Okay, so now you've probably already downloaded Lightroom 4. Let me just talk to you about two things that I think are really cool right off the bat. The first thing that I think that's really interesting is right at the very, very top, you obviously have Map and Book, which are two new modules that they've included in the Lightroom 4 beta. However, you have the option to be able to kind of declutter this because this starts looking a little bit big for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click right here under the web module. If I right click, you'll notice that you get a series of options that you can uncheck. So right now I have library, develop, map, book, slideshow, print, and web. Let's say, for example, I don't want to use web. If I click on that, that automatically disappears from the list. And now it's a much smaller show. If I want to be able to do that, the same thing for book, I can do that. And now I only have five modules that I'm looking at. So that's one thing that I think is cool. The next thing is this. Right now I have this one image and what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to take that image and I want to be able to add GPS information to it. If I click on the map module, you'll notice that it brings up a series of images and it brings up a general map. Now you have the option to be able to use the map as the guide from which you're going to place GPS information. So let's say for example, I come over here to the top of the map and I type in Paris, France. Hit the enter key, brings me right into the center of Paris, France. I can go ahead and just use my mouse to zoom out and zoom in. And this being a Google map, it automatically adds and removes information inside of the metadata. Now, this wasn't taken in Paris, France. This was taken in Oldsmar, Florida. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in Oldsmar FL. Automatically brings me to this location. From here, I can go ahead and zoom in and get exactly where I can go. Now, obviously, I can type in also an address. If I have the address, I'll just go over here and I'll type in the address that I'm looking for. But the ability to be able to kind of go around this and just kind of navigate, I think, is really cool. If you come down Racetrack Road and you go down Racetrack Road all the way around here, this is where it was taken. You can't see it, but this is actually like a farm. So right here, this is the farm where they're actually doing stuff because I know it because there's this big pond right here. So I can grab this image, drag it right there, let it go, and it automatically places that GPS coordinates right here. Now, imagine if you had to do this with multiple images, right? That would be kind of tedious. But what you can do is now that you've done this on one of these, you can go all the way over to the right and shift click a series of images that you have here. Once you have them selected, you can click on sync metadata. And you'll notice that under the GPS, you have the coordinates. Click on synchronize and all of them are done. Now all of that metadata information gets automatically added to all of these images. If you want to be able to take care of them a little bit more quickly, you could just grab multiple images. Let's say, for example, these three images were from there. I can grab all three of them and drag all three of them at the same time. So you can do it before or after the fact. And you have a quick way for you to be able to put in all this metadata right inside of Lightroom 4. My name's RC. Thanks for watching.